Hello there. Fallout Nuka Break is a non-profit fan film and is not endorsed by Bethesda Softworks. It's intended for entertainment purposes only. Fallout, the Fallout logo, all names and pictures of Fallout characters, and any other Fallout-related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Bethesda Softworks LLC or their respective trademark and copyright holders. So please, don't sue us. Have a great time. Enjoy your stay. October 23rd, 2077. The Great War began and ended. It wasn't a war of rifles or a war of soldiers. It was the final war. The war of the atomic bomb. Whatever the bombs did not destroy was consumed by the wasteland they created. But it wasn't the end of man. Oh no. Far from it. Take a couple seconds, uh, or or a couple minutes. Uh. Here, drink that. your buddy. Me? I don't even like the guy. Oh. See, I thought you guys had like a partnership going on. Partnership? Yeah. This is the wasteland. Love is where you find it. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. No. 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 I mean, look at him. Okay, you know, I don't, I don't like where this conversation's going. Let's just, let's keep moving. I, I don't want to be left out here alone. And then also dead. It's a trick. He'll shoot us if we go over there. We think it's a trick! Well, we think he'll shoot us if we come out there! Well, I think it's a trick! How would we be tricking you? I think you got lots of ammo, and you're gonna shoot me if you come over here! Oh, okay, okay. Well, we're gonna all throw our weapons out at the same time, on the count of three. That means you too, weird guy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay! Uh, all right! One, two, wait, what? Is this a trick? Step up and feast your eyes, only the finest crap between here and New Reno. Look at that little lady. You could eat off that one. <laughs> hey, where is here? I have no idea, but try this. Oh my, you're a handsome man. Hey, hey, oh, hey you beautiful. Hey. Yeah. This, do you have oh, any more? Sorry, you know, I sold my last bottle a couple of few days ago. 
Yeah, I got this fancy hat. Look, it's adjustable. <laughs> Really happy for you mm -hmm. about yeah. the hat and all. Um, <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, you know, we'll we'll take the bottle cap mine. Oh, good choice, good choice. And good choice. Uh, all the ammo. Well, of course, you, you could never have too much ammo, can you? <laughs> and this is. You a know, you would probably get today. more business if you didn't run around shooting at people. Well, I don't know. You know, you probably uh, wouldn't need to buy so much ammo if you hadn't spent it all shooting at me. <laughs> <laughs> Get it when y'all was shooting it over there earlier? <laughs> you didn't have to punch him in the nose, though. Yeah, maybe. But it sure felt great. Oh, great like a frosty, fresh Nuka Cola? Oh. I've been meaning to say this for a while, but I've been out here a long damn time, and I've never seen a man addicted to soda. Oh, it's all I can think of. That and fancy lad snack cakes. Oh, I could really go for some sugar bombs right now. Yeah, I bet you could, fatty. Fatty? Oh, hey, I was just kidding. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. You see, when the Great War started, many people found safety in underground vaults. But, unknown to the vault dwellers, the vaults were never actually meant to save anyone at all. Of the 122 vaults, only 17 were made to public expectations. All others were designed to include social experiments. Vault 21, for instance, was filled with nothing but compulsive gamblers. Or Vault 69. Of the 100,000 people who entered, there was only one man. And then there was Twig's Vault, Vault 10. Being backed by Nuka-Cola as a sponsor, it was developed and designed to solely test the Eatomatics cafeteria and food dispensers for the vault systems. Exercise equipment was also never installed. All of the occupants of Vault 10 became overweight. Obesity became the social norm for Vault 10 as the average girth increased with every generation. And that's where Twig's nickname came from, as he was the skinniest and therefore most picked on dweller within Vault 10. I think he's lost his damn mind. Dibs on his pit boy. I don't know where he is. Don't move, fatty! Shit, we did the pop-up thing. What's up? Read the contract! Do you have to yell? Please. Ten... Tanner and Company, you are hereby hired by Caesar's Legion to track and return the slave known as Scarlet to her respective owners in New Vegas. New Scarlet? Should you encounter the ghoul or vault dweller responsible for freeing her, you can eliminate them for an additional bonus of 75 cats. Okay, wait, wait. What if we give you the additional bonus to not kill us? That sounds pretty good. Sounds yeah, pretty good, right? doesn't sound too bad, huh? Yeah, we can do that. Move where we shoot! Hands where we can see him! Did these chumps just get the drop on us? Jesus. We're back here again? Really? Uh, oh, we probably should have shot him when they went for their weapons. I was, I was following your lead! I, I didn't want to shoot people just for moving. That, that's what we opened with! That was our thing! This is how it's gonna play, fat man. You know what? No, let me tell you, thin guy, how this is gonna play out, alright? We saw you guys coming, we sent our buddy up, Ben. He's gonna snipe you right now. All right, Ben, take him out! Ben, they're right there! I can't see shit. Take him out now, Ben! Screw it, I'll just join whoever survives. Right now, ben. ben, go! <laughs> Shut up, Butterball! What? What's your problem, huh? My problem? You're ripping my style. That's my problem. 
What is she? What? What? Your name, sweetheart. Scarlet? Hello? They call me Red. All right? You're ripping my style. No, I'm not ripping. Red, Scarlet is my name. Well, that's stupid. You're stupid. At least Scarlet is a name. Red's just a color. Uh, Red is so a name. It's short for Red Becca. You just made that up. That's not a name. Would you all just shut up? Would you just shoot him, please? Oh. What the hell was that? You guys missed. <laughs> Wait, come on with the focus. Turn off your damn radio. That's not, that's not on. It's on my radio. I have never advocated war except as a means of peace. Nations like individuals are punished. I got a terrible idea. How terrible? Happiness lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creating it. Damn it, Red! How many times have you been over this? Okay, this one, baby, not my fault. You shot him in the face! Only a little. A coward is much more exposed to quarrels than a man of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Everybody likes oh, a cop. Those things. <laughs> Damn, Enclave. Do not bite Come at the beta pleasure until you know there is no hook beneath. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to give us some cover. Hell, it was your idea. And you didn't even need it. I mean, we had to kill them all, and now they're all dead? I... Oh, free shit. Oh, yeah. What do you got for your smooth skin? Hey. Oh, come on, man. You know what I hate when you do this? What? Look what we earned. What is this we? Hey, I did something. It's not what you expected. Hey, muzzle discipline. Besides, you never know what you might find. No, I got, I told you, I'm not. <laughs> There's two, there are two. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, <laughs> Dream home.
just so well come each time that I return that my happy heart keeps laughing like a clown. Like a clown. I love those dear desolate place darkened by the shadows of a dead civilization. There are no heroes, only survivors. This is the story of one man's quest to find happiness, the perfect Nuka break. I told you, I ain't paying for the wrong delivery. Oh, come on, Chet. You know this isn't my fault. You always say that. Yeah, that's because it's always true. You ever think maybe you're just a terrible courier? No. I, I, I mean, I... You know as well as I do that all he did was carry the boxes. He didn't choose what was in them. Scar, don't! For you. Shh. I'd pay the kid if I were you. There. You happy? Very. Now get out of here. And you can forget about any more business with me or this town. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh! Don't worry. You're excused. Prick. Really? What? He wasn't going to pay us and I'm starving. Yeah, I'm starving too. Good fool me, fatty. Anyway, I thought we talked about this. I mean, you and I, we, we sat down, we talked about you not aiming guns at people, or or, or shooting them, or, or punching them, or yelling at yeah, them. Yeah, I got it. We got paid, didn't we? Yeah, actually, we did. Let's see. Barely. Well, wasn't a total loss. Look what I got. Liquid and blush. Yeah. You stole these? Victimless crime. How so? Nobody died. That's not. No, he's right. That's not my brand, anyway. Well, suit yourself, fat boy. More for me. So now what? Set up our courier scam in another town. What? What? Scam. Yeah. It was like every single package we delivered from the beginning was wrong. Yeah, that was weird. It's not like one of us was switching out the item we were supposed to deliver with useless crap because he thought that's what the whole point was. Don't touch my bag. God damn it, Dad. What? I got the score and we got paid. What's the problem? We've skipped some levels. The problem is that now nobody can trust us. We're labeled as thieves and now no one's gonna hire us. You screwed us! That, uh, that, but, but, that, uh, that, just, you know what that's gonna do to me? Just, that's okay. That, that, okay. No, it's not that big of a deal, okay? The town southwest of here is a buddy of mine who will have some work for us. Something legit? It's all legit. Kinda. Fine. Gee, when did you get some more? Oh! Oh, you were stealing! Oh, Ben. Then 
how old were you when the war started? Mid twenties, I guess. I don't remember. So, how much do you actually remember? Oh, like before the bomb? Yeah. Lots of things. Like? By men and. What was that? I don't know. I think of like a ham or something. What, like from an old religion? It must be. I don't think it's sticking in your head. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Not this far. They're not raiders, they're too organized. They're way too well equipped. What are we thinking? Ooh. Brad Roach is in a barrel? Dead man charge. Dead man's faint? Love you the human target. Oh, come on, man. Those ideas are just people shooting at me. Hey, statistically, two thirds of us survive. I like those oh. odds. Okay, what about the lucky charmer? Oh, no, I hate that one too. Well, it's either that or a chunky suicide bomber. Uh, you know, stim pack. I, for the record, I hate you. For the record, I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. Hey, stop shooting! Stop shooting! Hey! Hey! Hey, guys! Hey, hey, hey! You guys, you know, I just wanna talk! You you guys know how to do that, right? Shut up! We're not here for you, fat man. No, hey, hey, up here. You guys obviously know what you're doing, so you know, let's let's talk it out. You know, you guys get what you want, and I get to go right that direction with my own life. Yeah, well, what if what we want is to kill you? Well, you just you just said you weren't here for me. Yeah, we lied. We're raiders. Are not. Are, are too. No, you guys are way too well dressed to be raiders. Ah, oh, you noticed. We set up an ambush. We fired at you a bunch. It makes us raiders. Big time. I think I'd rather be a bounty hunter than a raider. Jim, we'll talk about this later, okay? There's good money in bounties. You know, we're kind of doing bounty hunting right now. James, we will talk about this later, okay? Why do you always say that? Why can't we talk about it now? <laughs> no, it's not a good time. Look what you did. You got him all upset. You got him upset. You know he cries. He always cries. We're gonna talk about it later, okay, Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy. Ladies, hey, ladies, ladies. What you guys really need to worry about right now are the two guns pointed right at your heads. Wasted in a wasteland of a desert sea Wandering, pondering if you'll ever find me Brush the dust off my boots, walk a mile or two Not sure where I'm going, but I hope it's towards you I can hear you echoing across the sand Blindly reaching and grasping for your hand Searching for your love is such a daunting task When finding you is all that I could ever Fire. Who sends in the rain on, on this journey? My heart's been through so much pain. pain. I'll continue on, just hoping that you're searching too. Until then, I'll be wandering, wondering, wondering if, if life will lead me to you.
wasteland. A desolate place darkened by the shadows of a dead civilization. There are no heroes. Only survivors. This is the story of one man's quest to find happiness. The perfect Nuka Break. Let me see this. Shit. What's that? That's why we were attacked. To understand their predicament, one must understand Scarlet's unique situation. Once a slave to Caesar's legion, she was bought by a man by the name of Leon Swallow. While being transported from Boulder City back across the Colorado River, her escort sought refuge from the oppressive wasteland sun in a cave. It was here that fate led Twig and Ben, where they stumbled upon the group. A firefight ensued. In the confusion, the trio managed to make their escape. Now, hunted by the Legion, they find themselves on the wrong end of a very sharp spear. Okay, wait. Who has time to learn how to draw? What? Twig? I mean, we're in a world full of mutants and robots Please and people stop. killing each other over caps. And this guy learns how to draw? Twig? Do you think that this is a game? That this is fun for me? Look on the bright side. It's 200 caps. How is that a bright side, huh? Used to be 150. That means we're moving up in the world. See, if that keeps up, we're gonna have some real hunters coming after us. Ben. Hardcore, cold-blooded, murdering bastards. They could be anywhere. Scar. Or anyone. Scar, don't- <laughs> ah. Ow. Sorry, Ben. Uh, I had it coming. Let's just find your friend. Okay. Star, I'm sorry. I... Yeah, it's fine. It's okay, Twig. Being mad at you is like being mad at a puppy. It's just too dumb to know any better. Come on, boy. Come on. What could you do? Come on. Good boy. Shit. You said we would be there by now. We are. I don't know where we're going. What does that even mean? It means I'm not lost. And I know where we're going. You never said we were lost. You said we were going to be there by now. And no, I just said you said we'd be there by now. If you did. Hey, hey, guys. I'm tired. Hey, guys. I just wanted to know when we were going to be there. Hey guys! What? Is that it? I told you we weren't lost. <laughs> yeah, you're an asshole. I know. Hey, wait, wait up! Wait!
Eastwood, huh? Kinda empty. Kinda really empty. <sighs> Hello? a dirty word from such a pretty mouth. A desolate place darkened by the shadows of a dead civilization. There are no heroes, only survivors. This is the story of one man's quest to find happiness. The perfect Nuka Break. I would choose your next move very carefully, Burnbag. What are you doing? Are you trying to get us killed? You need to calm down. If they're gonna shoot us, they've done it already. Well, you've got some balls there, son. Now, who are you? What are y'all doing in my town? Well, actually, we're... We we're, making... for... we're actually just looking for work, sir. You slavers. Caesar's Legion? No, no. Oh, no, no, not at all. Uh, I mean, no. far from it, sir. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Prove it. Uh... Um... Oh, the, the thing, the papers. Papers, yeah, right. yeah, you're right. Oh, hey, hey, sorry. Uh, I'm just going for my bag. I know it's right next to my gun. Sorry. Okay. Yep, yep. It's, uh, it's actually right. I'll take that. You need to see this.
well now. Ain't this something? I am Touch Connors, mayor of Eastwood, the only true slavery-free town in the NCR. <laughs> Put her there. <laughs> Boop. Good to have you kids with us. <laughs> you see, Twit, I was born a slave myself. I got away, found a plot of land I call my own after I killed that worthless sack of shit who claimed it first. <laughs> Other slaves found their way here, and in time, we built Eastwood, and we keep it free. Every person here is a free man, and I aim to keep it that way. I mean, well, that's good. Well, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's real good. <laughs> so what did you say brings you this way again? You looking for work, is it? Oh, Actually, you... I'm looking for Larry. Is he around? Yeah. Larry's here. I don't care for him much myself, but, uh, you know, I don't say no to someone who brings business to town, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you can find him over by the general store. Thank you. So work. Yeah, I mean, well, he's got... Sir, we've got reports of geckos near the Brahmin. If you'll excuse me, uh -huh. matters demand my urgent attention. You enjoy your day. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, I'm sure I will. Isn't that right, Scar? Or... Give it to her, come on. I got two caps on this. Scar? It's the best of the best. If you're looking for that extra boost in stamina, and I know you are, little lady, you've come to the right place. Still trying to sell this crap, huh? Well, well, well. If it ain't Benji. <laughs> hey. Hey, nice weather, right? Hey, how you guys doing? Hi. Has anyone seen my friend? Yeah. Hi. Hey, what's up? I'm looking for my friend. <laughs> now you owe me. <laughs> How much? How much? How much? Yes! For the bottle? Yes! And what's in them? Yes? Hmm. I'd say... Yeah? Words. Speak words, old man. Oh. Three caps each. Great! I gotta say, boy. I never seen nobody drink so fast. You got a lead belly or something, Sonny? <laughs> it's been a while, Benji. <laughs> yes, it has. Not since New Reno, at least. Mm -hmm. Been to the stables lately? Uh, not since, uh, 63. You were there. I don't remember that. I do. I see you're still trying to make a living off of this crap. What can I say? Old habits. What have you been up to then? Traveling mostly. How's that treating you? Shitty. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. Oh. 
It's not easy to say this, so I'll just go ahead and say it. I need a job. <laughs> that is a big thing coming from you. Especially you. Yeah? Blow it out your ass. Oh. I was hoping that this job could square my debt with you. I'm not quite sure your debt's small enough to be handled by such a small job. I'm not talking about this. I've got friends. You? Friends. <laughs> hmm. Do you have any more? I got some, uh... I got some sunset. Does that look like Nuka-Cola? No, like I said before, sunset. Hmm. I'm, I'm talking about Nuka Cola. Do you have any more Nuka? Oh, Nuka. Yeah. Is it? No, I just got sunset. Finish. Finish. That's right. That's what I told you. I told you girls can't play caravan. Let's go. Come on. I. Whoa. What? How do you have that car? Hey! How do you have that? I gave you fair warning. Thank you. Ah! Yeah. Oh, don't be Only like that. Only two chips ahead. Is he, is he crying? Any good? No. But I'll take what I can get. A couple of smooth skins. Not like you to keep pets, Benji. Have you got a job or not? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I gotta see these friends of yours first. You know, I can just go back to not squaring my debt with you. Ah, ah, no, don't be like that. I just want to know they can handle what I need them to do. You got a problem with suicide missions now? I just don't want my time wasted. Again. That valuable, huh? Mm. Fine. See for yourself. A desolate place darkened by the shadows of a dead civilization. There are no heroes, only survivors. This is the story of one man's quest to find happiness. The perfect Nuka Break. I'm 
sir. What possible reason could you have to interrupt my evening meal? Forgive me, sir, but we bring news from Nevada. The three mercenaries commissioned to return your wayward slave have failed. You idiots. What happened? Our spies indicate that they were killed by her liberators northwest of Prim. Okay. Send in Daniels. I wish to speak with him. At once, sir. You wish to see me, Leon? Yes, yes, I did. Your idea to use raiders to retrieve my Scarlet has failed. Perhaps it was a misjudgment to offer 200 caps for her, sir. I told you to offer 2,000. It was a misjudgment to charge you with such a specific task. We could not spare an additional man, sir. Your incompetence is disgusting to me. That you would willingly trust my Scarlet to such Generous. I should have you crucified. What would you have me do, sir? This is where those idiots were killed. That means they're moving toward California. It will be impossible to take Legionnaires that far. I believe we should raise the reward to 3,000 caps and try again. Cry your pardon, Leon. Sir Daniels, we've received word. One of our spies in California has located the runaway in Eastwood. And? He's declared his intention to apprehend her and claim the reward. No, 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 no. No! I will not spend a single cap more hiring degenerates. I will go myself. With what do you expect? Uh, uh. That's enough, Daniels. Send word to my brother. I'm sure he will be more than willing to support my cause. You may go. Back to him in Eastwood. Yes. And, he, and it's in a cave. Yes. But well, why would he put the jet? Break, please. Just please stop. Well, why is it in a cave? I, I mean, is it a big cave? Are there other things in it? It's a bloody cave, Twig. There's probably more than just jet in it. Like what? Like like giant mutant bugs? Giant mutant animals? Giant mutant robots? Robots don't mutate. Nor do they get giant. Why is it a cave? You grew up in a vault. It's just a cave with air conditioning. What is your deal with caves all of a sudden? I don't have a deal with caves. I have a deal with small spaces. Your vault was wall to wall fatty. Small spaces were all you had. I know, but I was the skinniest. And I was picked on the most, so. The guys would always put me in small spaces to make fun of me. You know, ha ha, you're so skinny, you can fit in this fridge, whereas we cannot. And ha ha. I mean, a fridge is small, you know? And, oh, okay, mine, mine was kind of big. Come on! Wait, wait. Maybe not shooting at us. What now? Well, this is me collecting a pretty little bounty on a pretty slave. Bye, mm. Menon. You know, this is like the fourth time this week. You know, I expected this from you, just not so close to Eastwood. We're pretty far out. And what Mayor Connors doesn't see doesn't really concern him now, does it? Shouldn't see your cars, little lady. 
This is gonna be boring. Land. A desolate place darkened by the shadows of a dead civilization. There are no heroes, only survivors. This is the story of one man's quest to find happiness. The perfect Nuka Break. Smooth skins! God damn it! How are we supposed to cash in on the bounty if she's dead? You gave the nod. That, that's a sign to shoot her. Yeah, yeah, it would have been if we were planning on returning them alive! That was a puncher in the face nod. Now I have to kill you. <sighs> oh, oh. Saves me the bullet. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Let's talk about how you're gonna surrender and drop your gun so I don't have to kill any of you. Now drop them. Scar, please. <laughs> All right, now let's have a little powwow. We'll little chat, and I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna work. Sound fair? Shit. All right, asshole, here's how it's gonna play. Call off your goons and it won't blow off your goddamn head. Who was covering him? Me? May I? Kill the bitch. Now, I still got you outnumbered. I still got a shotgun to your head. Ben. Screw it. Come on, Chris. Really? What? Hot, hot, hot. Water pure flare. It's still coming a little bit yellow, but we'll get there. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jill. Uh, found this in the back. Uh, Figured you might like it. Let me just 
just ran away like that. You know, it's not like him to ditch us like this. No, I'm just surprised I didn't do it first. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. Good to know you care. Hey, I care. I asked about your arm, didn't I? No, you didn't, actually. Oh. Done being hunted. No, 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 no. Now we're even. Go. Did you do that? It's a long story. Were you in on it? No. Not as far as I know. It was just supposed to be a run of the mill suicide mission, nothing more. Why did you save him? Because I owed him. Yeah? yeah? Well, now you owe me. All right, fine. I mean, oh, we can fix yeah, this. Yeah, we can. We can go get Larry and kill him. Okay, well, yeah, we can. But I'm talking about more than just that, Lower Life. I mean, ending it. Done. Yeah. Guys. We go to the source. Yeah, but last time we went against that guy, it went real sideways. Well, how do you say that? We rescued Scar. Not how I remember it. <laughs> so what do we do? I just want this to be over. Well, all right, if we're gonna die, let's do it in style. Scare back in Eastwood. Crazy, I ain't got that. Well, I'm cashing out. Larry, you can't just come in here. I don't have can Now, go vanish. What did you get yourself into this time? I have to get out of town before that fat vault dweller gets back. Well, you can't just come I in here. You're nuts. I have it. Pay me what you Stop can. Ah. Did you see that? Vault Dweller! Well, he strolls right in like he owns the town. If you make a move, then I'll shoot you down. He's my sharpshooter man, never misses his mark. He's my sharpshooter man, aiming straight for my heart. He's known for his aim Though his heart is cold I love him just the same He's my sharpshooter man Never misses his mark He's my sharpshooter man Aiming straight for my heart
wasteland. A desolate place darkened by the shadows of a dead civilization. There are no heroes. Only survivors. This is the story of one man's quest to find happiness. The perfect Nuka Break. We need to stop. What? Why? Because it's getting dark. So? So, I don't travel at night. I can't see. You know that. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of tired. We can stop. It's like right there! Okay, well then give me a gun. No! Yes! If we're going to sleep, I want to be armed. This is my gun, not yours. No, he's blind and you're an idiot. And you're that sword thing. Give me a gun. I'm not an idiot. What? Oh, you were another thing. He... You're both idiots. I crazy bitch! I can't go back there. They're looking for me. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Not the slave and her two idiot friends. Leon! Oh, so what? Leon's looking for everybody. Lucky for me, he already thinks I'm dead. I am really not gonna get crucified. Either shoot me now, or let me go. <laughs> oh, poop. Guys! Larry! Shit. I mean, you really <laughs> took care. I leave your girls alone for five seconds, you start shooting each other. What the hell's going on? Where did he go? I have no idea. All right, who did this? I know it wasn't you. You can't just vanish like that. He has to be hiding. Why would he? Why? Who are you talking about? I don't care. We need to go. He was right here! Well, let me know when you find him. Are you sure we can't just kill him? Bye. I suppose you didn't capture Scarlet like you intended. Um, no, Leon, I obviously did not. Mm. Well, that's a shame. There, you know what I do to people that disappoint me, right? Uh-huh. So, can you think of one good reason why I shouldn't do that to you right now? Second, one second, one second. Ah. I know where they are. 
Really? And you have to give me a second chance because I can bring her to you. Well, where are they? South of here. I set up an ambush for her and her friends, but... Right, yeah, and then you screwed it all in. I'm not surprised. Hmm. There. You think they're gonna be coming back? Probably. I doubt the fat one can go very much farther without a snack. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. So then, my Scarlet isn't in the town right now. She wasn't when I left. Thanks, Larry. Daniels? Bring me Artemis, please. Sir, isn't that a bit too much? about how you got that? Eh, I was in a hurry. And you can afford this out? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, did you steal that? No, I... Be still my heart. Guess I did. You know, there may be hope for you yet, fatty. That doesn't make me feel good. Oh, good. I think we're being followed. Yeah, I know. What do you mean, you know? I mean, I know. And what are we gonna do about it? Nothing. If he's gonna reveal himself, be on his terms, not ours. No. No, no. not this time. Give me this. Hey! Where are you? Hey. Come on! You Come out! Stop! Stop. Well? Stop! What do you just... Hold on. You know I'm impressed. You wait for all these other assholes to whittle us dry so you can just walk in and take her. Well, you're not gonna get her. I'm not here for her. What else can be doing out here? Protecting you. Protecting us? No. Just you. Just me. Okay, well, you know, I appreciate the gesture, but I don't need your protection. Piss off. Let's go. Eldridge. What? Benjamin Eldridge. <laughs> Stop. 
hunting a fox, Daniels. Take away the nest. Fox can't go home.
What you doing skulking around here? I ask you a question. Just passing through, ma'am. Looking for Bill. How do you know Bill? Used to track with him. You're a tracker? I was. So I see. Well, I guess if you were planning on giving me some kind of trouble, I imagine you would have tried to by now. Huh. Yes, ma'am. All right, then. I got me a nice pot of mole rat stew on the stove. And I'm willing to share it if you ain't planning to cause me any trouble. And you continue to be polite. Well? Well, kind of nice having a little company. It's usually pretty quiet out here. I do miss having a few folks around. You? What? Miss having some folks around. Being around people. Pretty lonely life, wandering around by yourself out there. That's the way I like it. Never had all that much luck with other people. Don't you have some kind of can out there? No. I see we ain't gonna have a conversation about that then. So, let's just get down to business. Since I'm pretty sure Nancy Yar ain't sending you no regular paychecks. Are you looking for a little work? No. And I'm not in CR. Well, that's good. I got a proposition for you. No, thank you, ma'am. I don't need an employer. I tend to take care of myself. Well, now, that is why I'm asking you. I need someone who can take care of themselves. <sighs> Look, I appreciate your hospitality and your fine food, ma'am. But I'm not looking for work. Have you ever had the need to find someone? Someone special to you? I gave up on that foolish shit a long time ago. Bob. Since you know Bill, you can stay here tonight. But if you ain't interested in helping, you should be gone in the morning. I told you to be gone. If it wasn't gonna help. This is all I got. And this is what I need. That's my daughter, Becca. She's just a baby when we settled out here. Well, the towns were just getting too rough, and we thought it was too dangerous for a little girl, and we figured 
Nobody would even notice us out here. But we were wrong. Some raiders found us. They ambushed Bill out back. They slit his throat while we watched. And then they danced around and painted his blood all over their bodies. Well, Peck and I ran, but they caught us. I held on to her. I wouldn't let her go. But they just beat me, beat me. And when I came to, Becca was gone. I learned how to take care of myself. And ever since then, I've been collecting these caps, trying to find somebody to help me find her. Killing every raider I see. And you think she's still out there? Well, those two most recent occupants seem to think she was. They said she was a slave, sold at some point, and never seen again. What makes you think she's still alive? This is for expenses. And this one here, this one's a special one. Now don't you go spend it on beer and hookers. You keep it safe. Show it to the right person, they might be able to help you. Desert sea, wandering, pondering if you'll ever find me. Brush the dust off my boots, walk a mile or two. I'll hear you echoing across the sand, blindly reaching and grasping for your love. Hey, Sager! Hey! Come here! Come on! What can I do for you today? I'm looking for a girl. Oh. For a girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I don't deal in stuff like that. I can't believe you even asked me. But what I do have is some jet, and I've got some. Not a girl. This girl. Her name is Becca. Becca. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I, I don't recognize her. I do recognize a good deal, though. Look here. I've got some turpentine. Damn it. I've got turpentine, and I've got. I don't need turpentine. Well, I, I had them before, and then I've got some. Does this mean anything to you? Put that away. You got a lot of nerve showing that thing out here. There are bad men out here. Dangerous people that kill you for that. Now you, now you, go. Go up that way and, and go to the I-10 trading post and ask for Barker, all right? Ask for Barker, show him that maybe he can help. Barker. Yes, Barker, just go, go! Yes! Faster!
welcome to the I-10 trading post. Name's Barker. What can I do for you? That was some mighty fine shooting there, cowboy. Appreciate the help, of course. But me and my buddy here, well, we can take care of a handful of raiders ourselves. Do it all the time. What are you two doing all the way out here? I worked these parts for years. Keeping the roads clear, making sure that everything was A-OK. -okay. Over time, the old dust and old age got to my gears. Me and my buddy settled in here. Set up the I-10 trading post and we do a mighty fine business if I do say so myself. I'm trying to find this girl. Bring it a little closer now. These old senses ain't what they used to be. No, doesn't look familiar. She might be a slave. Sure, that's possible. She might have also been sold. That's possible too. You don't know much of anything, do you, Barker? That's right. I don't know anything. Crazy Liggett in the Legion known as Leon. He had split from Caesar's Legion when it became clear he was not a follower personality. He was only allowed to live because his brother is a high ranking legionnaire and because Leon would simply slaughter any legionnaire that came near his tribe. Leon wanted the waste killing anyone that annoyed him and collecting and enslaving any young woman he found. Becca was one of those women. She served him until she fell out of favor and was replaced by another beautiful young woman. Becca was ultimately sold to a man named Bison and was no longer seen again. Where can I find this Bison? He's not easy to find. He's usually on the move. Head due west from here to those mountains. He was last seen up there, somewhere. How long ago? Barker. Welcome to the I-10 Trading Post. The name's Barker. What can I do for you? Damn it. I'll take some water and a box of 4570s.
but I get to go free. You're a doctor. I'll be fine. What about the rest? They stay. with your father. She told me. I'm sorry. He was a good man. He would have figured out a way to save those others. They don't want to be saved. Bison was a good owner. He never abused us. We were always well fed, well protected. Mm. They've been with him for so long, they don't know any other way of life. Collars aren't even needed to keep them there. Don't they have families? People they miss? There's nothing left for them out there. No family, no loved ones. No dreams. Bison's all they've got. You should get some sleep. I've got a long way to go. those. I can take care of myself. All right, then. You don't have to go. Stan's not really my thing. Well, you're always welcome here. Thank you. Bill's rifle. He want you to have it. So where are you off to? Hmm. I got somebody I gotta find.
we go over this time? Okay? Yes, I think so. 
Did you guys see that? We're like felt it, you moron. We have to get out of here. We have to go check. What if they're survivors? I'm gonna put myself in the middle of an atomic explosion when death claws talk. Twink, can you look at me? There are no survivors. I promise. We have to go. Where do we go? To the mountains, north. Are you nuts? It's a two-day walk minimum. I'm sorry. Do any of you have supplies stashed closer? No. All right, then. All right, come on, let's go. What's wrong with him? Hey, if something's wrong with Ben, you're gonna tell me! Jesus. Hey, what's going on with him? Your friend is turning feral. Take this. Stay here. Sitting ducks down there. Huh. Get a good signal up here. Maybe things are looking up. The hell was that? Chubbs had to get unlucky sooner or later. All right, I can get us another gun. We can catch them. They can't be far. No, I'm done. I've expended too much energy chasing after one wayward slave. I'm done. What the hell? This isn't you. They need your help. You have no clue who I am. You have a name. Ben Eldridge. That hasn't meant anything in over 200 years. It's over. I'm done. Go away. Go away.
bow anywhere. Huh. Well, well, I'll be honest, I didn't think you could actually track them. Well, you get what you pay for. I'll take my caps and be on my way. Ah, personal bubble, buddy. I caps what? on delivery. Yeah. So you know what this is? Yeah. Oh. Except your proximity boundary is tied to her. No shit. You have 20 feet. Anything happens to her, or she gets away again, well, let's just say, you won't have to play hound dog anymore. <laughs> did you do to Eastwood? What? I... I don't know what you mean. I... Ah! What did you do to Eastwood? It wasn't us! It wasn't us! Uh, it was Leon! It was Leon! Penelope, patch him up. We're taking him with us. Sure thing, Raz. <laughs> this will help you sleep. No, I don't want to sleep. I want to help my... I want to help my... Friends, they need my... That's a whole lot of men on you. Right, on her, which means you can let me go. I'm not done with you yet. God, Ben even let you go. It's just business. Just business. Stop following me. What do you care about, Benjamin Eldridge? Please don't call me that. Answer the question. You get so goddamn chatty. It's how you fight it. You answer that question over and over all the time. What do you care about? Nothing! Good. Keep telling yourself that lie. That's how it beats you. Do you want to become Pharaoh? What the hell do you even know? You're a coward. Find me anyway. Raz was tracking you because of that shish kebab you stole. And he ran across that little gunfight of yours. Was headed to Eastwood, and that place went up. It's bringing help from the locker. Then we caught your radio. Hmm. Here, you need to stay hydrated. This is the best I have. Uh. Careful with your arm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that's the best thing that happened to me in days. That didn't hurt? Not really, no. Fascinating. So, where are we going again? The locker.
Ron? Raz, Six Eyes. Sorry about Eastwood, fellas. Thanks, Ron. We could use the shelter if you could spare it. You got it. And if things are looking the way they look, we'll have to get this place up and running again. You guys know I don't believe in that sort of thing. Twig says Leon found his slave girl he's been after. Found her, damn. And he still believes in that damn prophecy. Prophecy? And who might you be? This is Twig. <laughs> Friend of the slaves. <clears throat> Stayed a few steps ahead of Leon till last night. Nice to meet you, kid. Ron, we need to talk about this factory. Touch wanted us to get it operational as soon as possible. He said there might be a problem up there. Scarlet and get her cleaned up. I want her looking her bad. Of course. Can you please put me down? Can you behave? Well, only behave is synonymous with kicking your ass. Tell me about your friends, Ben. Where'd you meet them? I met Twig at some. Super duper mart stuff in his fat face and scars just in some cave somewhere. Why? It's not important. I disagree. Uh. The hell are you doing up there? Mm. I'm not even gonna ask.
hell is this? Why do you have this? Why do you have this? I'm not gonna let you die on me until you answer my goddamn question. Okay, I don't know what I was expecting. tend to disappear around here. <laughs> Wanted to hide it. Took a while to take off, actually. Mm -mm. There's a new Coca-Cola in it for you. I know this guy. Lamenti. He used to trade with Eastwood. He's from the locker. Leon's men. The place has been marked. Then we need to tell Ron. So what are all the needles for, anyway? Just running some tests. You a big new Coca-Cola lover? That's all we have in my vault. I guess you could say it's a part of me. <laughs> mm, yeah. You were shot how many days ago? I don't know. Two? Fascinating. Looks like it's been healing for over a week. We should go see Ron. So, how long have you been here? About two years. The caravan that I was with got ambushed, and Ron found me out in the waste and brought me here. What's Ron's story? Ron doesn't like to talk about it. I gave up asking. Okay. So, uh, Twig. It's an interesting name for a guy. Where I come from, I'm a... smaller guy. Where you come from, anybody special back at your vault? Not really, no. no? Oh. So this is Ron's place. Cool. So, so he's in. Oh, he's in here. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Huh. Not every day we meet a vault dweller. Only heard stories. Good to see you're up and about. I'm Chris. This is Tim. We work with Ron to run this pile of concrete we call home. Well, it's nice to meet you. Three thousand series. Very nice. I had a two thousand myself. Very sorry about Eastwood. And Touch Connors. He was a he was a good man. Thanks. Did you know him well? It's a name like Touch, you don't have much choice. We had our differences. Slavery was never one of them. It's a no-go at the locker. Ready for a tour? This is the locker. It's not much, but like Chris said, it's home. We're a peaceful people. Mostly elderly, those too weak to fight on their own. But we keep the raw materials here safe from raiders, slavers, anyone who wants to hurt others with it. But if you have the materials, why don't you use it like Raz said? We lack the technology to get the plant running, fortunately. I don't believe in all that twig. Technology complicates a simple, satisfying life. Wait, what about the prophecy? Isn't Leon on his way? Leon believes his son will rule the West and thinks your friend is destined to be the mother. Gross. Well, even if we could get it running, there's no guarantee it would stop the invasion. Use some of your stuff to make an antidote, but if you want the rest of it, 
You're gonna tell me why. You have this. You really don't remember, do you? You know, I lost my patience with that shit about 150 years ago. <laughs> I heard your story my whole life. Benjamin Eldridge, Vault 7. You'd registered for the vault years before. It was supposed to be a haven for anyone and their families. But you married after registering. They said there wasn't enough room. Her for me, you said. Let her take my place. You got her in the Vault 7. Then you went into the desert to face your death. But you didn't die. You survived. Just like you'll survive this. You can fight turning feral, Ben. Maybe not forever, but... For a little while. You were strong enough. You have to be. If you weren't... Then I wouldn't be here. Fine. Go and get all the sleep you need, asshole. Years back, through months and months of tracking and questioning, which often leads in circles, a man had finally gotten a bearing on where his quarry might be. It led him to Game of Caravan, in a den populated by less than desirable sorts. Some were thieves, some murderers, some slavers, some were junkies, some were all of these things. Everyone who entered that place knew they might not walk out again, including this man. He stayed for days in that debauched place until he was able to strike up a game with a group of harriers that matched the description he'd been given. The man won over and over again. Quickly, tempers began to rise. One accused the man of cheating. In response, he offered the return of all his winnings to them, if they would tell him what they knew of Ben Eldridge. Upon hearing that name, a brawl began. The man dodged and darted quickly, incapacitating each of the players and whomever else joined the fray. Most severely, a murderer known as the Scorpion for his preferred method of execution. Once the violence ceased, the man turned to one of the injured and dropped a jack from his sleeve onto the floor. He then dragged him out, making it very clear that he would have his answers. Fever brought. Well done, you beat the venom. Well, consolation prize at least. Uh. Well, now that that's out of your system, I have a question for you. Where the hell did you get this? My father. When my mother died. Family heirloom. And how the hell is that possible? James Eldridge. I'd say it's nice to meet you, but you're such an asshole. So, Glenn remarried. Mm. Never. She died in her bed clutching that ring, so I'm told. But your last name is Eldridge. Great, 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 great grandson, give or take. I had a kid. Benjamin Jr. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I... thought you knew. Take that. Get some rest.
place has been marked. Must have had a reason. Oh, come on! What's the matter? My pit boy's busted. The Geiger counter's not working. Wait a second. Hey, wait, what are you, what are you don't waste it! What are you, oh. <laughs> All right, I guess it was just a false alarm. Okay, thank you. This is what he puts out here. There's no residual radiation. He'll bring Scar here for the ritual. Goddamn prophecy. Fertile soil makes for the perfect mate. Perfect mate makes the perfect sun. The fates of all are sealed when two become one by the burning sun of the twelfth month of the twelfth year, blah, blah, blah. Know all it takes for a prophecy? Some asshole to say something crazy a long time ago. Other assholes to believe. It doesn't matter. If Leon believes, he'll come here and he'll kill us all. Well, we leave. Destroy the locker. I can rig it to blow on an hour's notice. But that's such a waste. What are you going to do every time Leon comes to the town? You're just going to move out? Why not use it? Create the ammunition. We only have so many rifles, Twig. Not many of them at all. And I've seen the damage done by always wanting the bigger guy. I hate that phrase. It, it, it's not the size that matters. It's, it's how you use it. No doubt you believe that. We don't have the tech to make the locker work. There's got to be something I can do. Maybe he should talk to the scholar. The who? Anything happens, it's on you. What about this? We're not stupid. May we have some privacy? There are six men outside. I would expect nothing less. You ready? Yeah. You're not what I expected, ma'am. Really? What were you expecting? Leon's been after you for so long. You have a reputation. I thought you would be more... Perfect? Ardent? Savage? What makes you think I'm not? <laughs> What's your name? Bonnie, ma'am. Don't call me that. You just call me Scar. How long have you been, um... Leon's slave? Yeah. Long enough to know that you're special to him. How'd you get here? When he lost you, he tore through all the towns he could find, taking the sons of families to build his army. My parents had no son, so he took me. I just want to go home. But I don't even know where that is. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure what to say. You don't have to say anything, but you could give the scissors back. of helping. Are you coming? No, just you. Just follow the cave. You... I don't want to follow the cave. Welcome. Uh, 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 sorry. 
If I didn't want it broken, I should have placed it elsewhere. Oh, I'm sorry. My friend Ron said I should come and talk to you because you'd have my answers to the questions I don't know. I don't know what to ask you, I'm sorry. Well, that's just silly. Only you can know why you're here. To save my friends, to help them. Leon's coming, and Ron doesn't want to fight back, and I don't know how to convince him. Ron's past is marred by pain. His future is his to decide. You can't change his mind. You will have to sacrifice to achieve your ends. That's kind of ominous, right? I mean, sacrifice what? I cannot know, but you will. Can you tell me my fate or the fate of my friends? There's no such thing as fate, Twig. Only possibilities. And there's never a shortage of those. Well, thanks for your time. I'll be going. Is this for me? You remind me of someone I once knew. Remember this. Solutions don't just fall from the sky. Usually. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Scholar. My name is Goris. Well, thanks, Goris. My name's Twig. I know. Of course you do. All right. Scar? Something wrong, Scar? I find Bonnie's work to be subpar. I'd like her to leave. Ma'am? Now. Well, should I call Giselle? No. You can do it. I'll show you. You can just even it out. I'm not a hairdresser. Shall I call Leon and tell him that you didn't do everything in your power to ready me for the wedding? I'll teach you. Thank you, Daniel. So you remember my name? Oh, of course I remember that. I remember quite a bit. I remember you were my guard dog. Always did everything Leon asked. And I remember you standing by and watching and doing nothing. Okay. Which one of you wants to come in here and take this collar off me, huh? Come on, boys. Now's not the time to be shy. What are you doing now? Take this collar off me and let me go. Are you afraid of the prophecy? Just the people insane enough to believe it. Oh, okay. So what? Um, you kill him to escape from me? I've never hurt you. <sighs> Shall I help you? Slit his throat. If I let you walk out of here right now, you really think I wouldn't just sacrifice another town? I'm gonna sacrifice everything and everybody to have you. Is that not love? <laughs> Daniel will break your camp. Now. Go. Yes, sir. You need to stay right here on top of it. You think? Damn it! Wait, get out of here! Ron, we're not just gonna leave you standing. Okay. It hasn't been here long. Go! Oh, I'm 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 blind! I'm blind! Sand in your eyes! Probably a scout. Must be guarding the site. No clear shot! 
Just here, give me the. Hit the third button. What? Just do it. Now what? On the count of three, we're gonna stand up. It'll work. One, two, three. Well, next time we do this, just don't hold me like a human shield, all right? Fair enough. <laughs> it's pretty handy. Yeah. What else can it do? Uh, quite a lot, actually. Disarm the landmine? Sir. Check the soil. Yes, sir. It's all clean. Total anomaly. Unique only to that land. It's not an anomaly. Hmm? It's the prophecy. Now tell me more about the outpost. It's an old lock reed plant in the valley near the site. They call it the locker. Ammunition is manufacturing. Not functioning, but yes. We're keeping an eye on the site. We leave now. Contact my brother. Tell him I need a platoon of men at the location for protection, right? No, no. Scrap that. A battalion. I travel with Scarlet. Those are the requirements. Fine. We're moving out. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Off. Took you long enough? I was taking a leak. You know we still do that? Ugh. Oh, what, you gonna cry now? Shut up. Keep crying. <laughs> hey, you winged one. All right, kiddo, we're gonna play a little game. Rules are simple. I'm gonna ask you a question, and you're gonna answer it. If you answer it truthfully, I'll let you walk away. Where's the nearest place with food and water? The locker. Half a day's walk that way. It's outstanding. Thank you very much. Gibbs! What the hell's the matter with you? You promised you'd let him live. Don't tell me you're getting soft, kid. His life doesn't mean anything to me. But your word should mean everything. Even to an ant like him. Is that disappointment that I see? I know you're better than this. All right, you know what? This stops right now. You want to keep pretending like you know me? You don't. I've forgotten more than you'll ever know. You want to know how I really got Clem into that vault? I killed that guard. The first person I ever killed, and I can't even remember if it was on purpose. I couldn't go in covered in blood. They'd hang us both. So I sent her in, in my place. You know the best part about that, Jimmy? I don't regret a goddamn thing. What are you looking at? Scar. Hello. Yeah. Wow. Come on, you've never been this non-threatening. What gives? Yeah. Scar, I got a secret for you. I can get us out of here. I'm not leaving. Come on, don't be crazy. We can work together. No. Uh, 
Why? What happened? I've been a slave to Caesar's Legion. About a year when Leon bought me. I thought he loved me. I wasn't his slave. I was his. And I thought I loved him back. Maybe I really did. But then I learned about this prophecy. I felt betrayed. He didn't love me. He wanted to use me for this army. To create a son to rule the West. To create suffering for millions. I tried to run, but he caught me. Easy. And he made me a slave. He held me in wait until he could find the fertile ground of the prophecy. He kept calling me perfect one. The perfect mate makes the perfect son. So I thought, what if he didn't think I was perfect? He said he'd make sure I'd never try to leave him again. He'd eliminate any reason to run. So he destroyed my town, my home, family, friends, first loves. And he sealed his promise with a kiss. A paladin rescued me took me away before anyone knew I was gone. He helped me get myself together. Taught me how to survive. But he was a broken man. He'd fought Leon and Caesar's Legion for years. And when Leon nuked my town, his entire company was destroyed with him. Ultimately, we didn't want revenge. Only escape. So he left. And if not for him, the wastes would have killed me a long time ago. I kept moving, but they found me. When I was being transported from Boulder City, I ran into Ben and Twig, and we escaped together. Stayed a step ahead ever since. Until someone helped them. But none of that was your fault. Besides, I'm rigged to pop. Sorry. See? Told you he was telling the truth. Telling me surprised. Ah. Uh. Your friend sold us out, kid. The only thing I hate worse than a ghoul is a ranger. I'm not a ranger. I'm not a ghoul. The shot. You gotta be shitting me. Ben? Oh my god. <laughs> You're alive! I thought Leon had you guys. No such luck. You know these clowns? Yeah, they're my friends. Uh, friend, singular. You guys are alive. Any friend of Twigs. You guys wanna come inside? It's great! Come on! What is happening? Speak with me? You really saved my skin with that contraption on your wrist. <laughs> yeah, he'll do that. If it's all the same, you let me rest up here and heal up, so... Well, you got me thinking. You figure there's any way to get this place running again? I think there is. Yeah. Fertile land is across the valley, and the hour is fast approaching, Magnus. I need to prepare. Where are my legionnaires? Word was received. They have been delayed, but they're still coming. We'll do without them. Get the men ready. Take us all to the fertile land, and prepare Scarlet for tonight's ceremony. Protect her, and the land, and their lives. Yes, sir. You men, if the locker so much as twitches before we get there, 
Wipe it from the waist. Twig? Hmm? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. You were a really big hero today, Twig. Just trying to help. Why so glum? I'm not. I know how to turn the machines back on. I just don't know if I can get Wait, wrong. you know how to make the machines work again? Yeah. You'll need this. Turns out it's some kind of universal processor. Powers most machines. You're a really amazing guy, Twig. There's something I want to show you. This is where you keep it? I would have told you sooner, but I wanted to finish my test. Mm. What about that? You actually drank so much Nuka Cola in the vault, it altered your DNA. <laughs> well, it heals you. Not entirely, but it does speed up the process. That's insane. Scar. We have to go get her. Sight is very defensible. You know what they say about a good defense. Could have told me yesterday. You'll have to take it easy. I don't find that very likely. <laughs> me neither. Hold this. James. Yeah, in here. Twig says he knows that they're taking Scar. Wants to attack an entire platoon to get her back. He knows he's an idiot, right? Maybe. But he is the most selfless idiot I've ever met. There. All done. Now don't act like you didn't earn that. Where do you think I get it? Prick. Somebody go out and find it when we first got back. I fixed it up the best I could. Thank you. Thank you. You can run quietly in this thing, right? No. You guys go on without me. As much as I want to save Scar, too, I'm not a warrior. I'll just mess it up. Besides, I gotta stay back here and help Ron and make sure this place is good. So what do you want to do? I'll take the old man. I'm saying that Gore will go feral before he doesn't have much time. Get it working. I'm bringing hell with me when I come back. Sorry, but it's true. Okay, I killed a man to save my wife, but it's not like I wanted to. I was really tired of all this selfless Ben the Legend crap. You know, Vault 7 wasn't meant to survive. The experiment was to see how long they'd last without medical personnel. And Clem was the nurse. And Vault Tech knew. That's why they wouldn't let her in. She taught others, saved a lot of people. By protecting her, you saved generations. 
And then there is me. One big joke. Spent all this time looking out for number one just to finally... You gotta appreciate the irony in that, though. I am sorry, Ben. Eh, don't be. Just... Thank you for... For my family. The last of it. Nothing else matters. Secure. someone else's life to ruin. What? My smooth skin! Look, I know I screwed you. I deserve it. The money was just too good. So stick around and collect. What are you talking to me for? They're gonna kill me. Good. I have to leave. off without cueing the pyrotechnics. So why don't you just leave? Well, I can't do it. It's got to be one of you. And besides, her collar has me on a really tight leash. I'm not leaving. Uh, no one else dies because of me. What about you, Hot Stuff? I want to go home, but I'm not leaving without her. right behind him. You feel that tiny little bar? Yeah. It's about a quarter inch thick, has a blue stripe, really, really tiny. Yeah. Don't touch it. The thing next to it pulls straight down, straight down. Ah, that's the spot. Uh, uh. Thanks. Well, make a run for it. All right, come here, real quick. Turn around. Come on. Her first. See yourself. Come here. Can't. Looks like Scar's trying to take his collar off. <laughs> what? Remember this being a lot easier. Yeah. Bingo! I'll be damned, he's breaking him out. I'm going in. Watch my ass. I should put you down first time. Hey, Benji! The new Reno Ringer!
She's really hurt, though. Come on. Uh, yeah, Penn, let's... Uh, and so am I. You got it? Okay. He's here. I believe you have something that belongs to me! Your infirmary. Get everyone in there. It's the only place with enough cover. <laughs> so that's all he meant to you? It's not just about him anymore. He died protecting his family. And mine died because of me. You are all. I can't. Send out my Scarlet, and I will let you people live. I'm sorry, but I can't ask you to fight for me. You never had to. Well, easy, kid. That stuff's harder than liquor. We used to make grenades with it. You have two minutes! Two! Then I am coming in after! And you won't like my gift for the host. God, am I the only one who's just getting fucking sick of that guy? Hell no.
I'm sorry, we haven't seen the Ranger. He's probably still in the mess. Twig said his name was James, Fenn's descendant. The last Eldridge. He was a good man. You OK? No. But at least it's all finally over, huh? Looks like you have a good day for it, Twig. How are you feeling? Oh, like a million cats. Mm -hmm. A thousand? Huh. So you're gonna be okay without your toy? Yeah. I think I will be. You take care of yourself out there. Thanks, Rob. You sure about this? Yeah. Yeah, I can't see up here anymore and besides it's kind of yeah you stay safe out there well. listen to cigar i'll be waiting for you when you get back oh yeah oh do it again too much yeah you think we'll find it my home? We are sure as hell gonna try. Got me figured out. You think I'm just your average Joe? You sized me up with just one look. You snubbed your nose and told me no. Don't be fooled by what you see. That's just your point of view. Cause baby, I can live large too. I keep a pen behind my ear. I know it may look uptight, but I replace that pen with a cigarette. When I go out at night, I wouldn't loosen up my tie while I spend time with you. Cause, baby, I can live large too. If all 
on the world's a stage Then I'm your leading man And baby, when you're with me I don't know turns into yes I can I'd bring you flowers every day To ensure that they don't wilt If you give me your okay I'll give my old hat a tilt We could live the good life Living large is what we'll do And baby, you can live large too Cause baby, I wanna be living large with you
just didn't pack. You can probably dig one up. It's on the house. Well, I don't pay for nothing at Oxa Tavern. Right. Hiya! <laughs> well, I don't see much of your type around here. From the looks of this place, it seems like you see a lot of types. <laughs> yeah, well, rangers don't exactly make this a usual pit stop. I guess they don't want to get in the middle of another man's... You cheater! <laughs> Piece of shit! Disagreement. I've told you a hundred times. He's told you a hundred times. That's a lot of times. Too many. Double. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, sir. <laughs> Won't happen again. <laughs> You should knock him with gangly teeth. You crazy? It's best that I just give him what he wants before he beats another lesson into me. You swing back, I guarantee he'll shit himself. My folks said that no good ever came from talking back. It's not my place. Especially what he did to my old boss. Old? A few years back, Scorpion and his gang came in here. I was in Rich was working bar. What a miserable fucking joke. You swing that door in, kick my people around, and now you expect me to pour you a few whiskeys. Huh. You people have to be the biggest waste in the wasteland. You have an expiration date. You don't know it yet, but you will. You're a bunch of dogs fighting over scraps. You're gonna get wiped out one day. One by one, eventually. I may not be the one to do it, but someone will. In the meantime... And slinging drinks is noble? That ain't the point. Then what is the point? I don't want or need you or your lapdogs in my bar. Are we clear on that? Crystal. Although there is one thing. We will be drinking here for the foreseeable future. stupid. You're a law, man. Can't you do anything? I can do a lot, but four against one, the New Vegas odds aren't exactly in my favor. Yeah, well... Look, you have a problem with it? You're gonna have to do something for me. Who wants a game? And I want a challenge this time! I, I don't know. Follow my lead. All right, let's make it interesting. I'll play.
Aren't you a little out of your element, Ranger? Now, Eve, that is no way to speak to the law. Although I am very surprised to be playing a friendly card game with the NCR's finest. Well, I'm sure you'll kill him. <laughs> Interesting enough for you? I'm more than intrigued. So what brings you out this way? Oh, you know, drinks, game or two, cut and run. You? You could say the same thing about us. You look like you have a lot more to you than serving and protecting, Ranger. So, you find something good out there? That? That's just fresh meat. I mean, man's gotta eat. Yeah, it costs us an arm and a leg, too. Sounds like a real find. Oh, ain't that the truth? I just never, never thought it I'd end up like this, you know? I don't know what I, I don't know what I thought I would do. Let me ask you a question. Why do you guys wear those helmets, really? I mean, the air's fine. I can breathe. I can see. I think it's look cool. It's not as cool as you think. Don't move! Or I'll put a bullet right through your cheeks. And he ain't talking about the ones on your face. Oh, Scorpion, you scared the shit out of me. You're a hard man to find, Selden. Why do you suppose that is? Especially when you know I love promises made <laughs> to be kept. Uh -huh. Where's the map? I was coming to see you, Scorpion, but uh, shit stain over there uh, stopped me. And uh, how'd you find me? Best tracker this side of the dam. Not the pleasantries. Where's the map? Well, I, I don't I don't have it. Look, guys, do you have any idea how hard it is finding a vault? Much less finding a map to a vault. It's much harder. And why do you have to go and lie to me, Selden? I didn't lie. I'm not lying. Let me go. I'll, I'll get you that map. I'm not lying. Guys, if you let me go, I'm going to go get your map. It's that simple. Better get your words out. He's hungry. OK. All right. Um, Okie dokie. Uh, it, it's in the pit, boy. Bingo! Bingo! Got it right here. Pleasure doing business. You too. Love you, Scorch. Guys, call it off. Come on, call it off, guys, call it off! We didn't make that deal. Yeah, we did. Come on, it's... Hey, come on, I'm not kidding, it's me! It's me, it's the dude! Come on, call it off! Yes. Why the hell did you have to do that? He told you where the map was. I'm getting real fucking tired of your mouth, you know that? We all are. You say one more word and you'll join the dearly departed, I promise you. Joey, relieve the deceased of his pit boy. That's disgusting. Uh, go, yeah, sorry, coming right up, boss, that's. When are we headed to the vault? Now, see, I, I personally think a celebration is in order. It ain't going nowhere. And it seems to me you aren't the decision maker of this group. Your word is about as useful as an asshole on my elbow, you know that? Watch your tone, Jamie. Just watch it. Uh, boss. What? It's got, I can't, it, it won't come off. Boys! You're both pretty. It's on there really tight. I mean, maybe if we just kind of... Let you handle it. Bag it! We don't need the attention when we get to town. 
We need to go now. What's your hurry? You know something we don't? Huh? You know you're a lot more trouble than you're worth? When you botched that job, when you didn't kill that rotting bastard back in town, you think that was the best interest for this group? I don't kill ghouls. Well, my pet is a little less selective. And I think I like the sound of a quartet a little better. We're gonna hurt for that one, you sack of shit! <laughs> the arm! Give it to me. You know this little thing right here? This is about as useful as, how'd you say? An asshole on your elbow? Drop it! to deplete your travel expenses. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I think we're gonna do just fine. Especially after we get the Vault 7. Shut up, idiot. What? Vault 7. We're just your average run-of-the-mill treasure seekers, that's all. Probably nothing there, but worth a look. I had family in Vault 7. Condolences. Well, I hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, <laughs> trying to. Do you see? I already have. And what I want is wrapped up in that bloody bandage. Fat chance. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, drinks! You got a sense of humor, Ranger, and I like that. <laughs> sense of humor. Well, that's about as useful as an asshole. On my elbow. Your hand. Hey, I'm 
sorry I, uh... Thank you. What's so important about that thing, anyways? This is the last piece of me. I had to survive for months with those shit bags to get it. Wait a minute, I recognize you. You're one of them. the scorpion uh, he'll find me and I'll be ready well guess we were about due for a remodel <laughs> this will help uh, you should take this never been too good with these Take care of yourself. Clem, this is difficult, so bear with me. I can't imagine living in a world without you, and I'm sorry that you had to live in a world without me. Fair isn't always in the cards, and I'm terribly sorry for how things turned out, but it's more important to me that you're safe and sound. I fully expect to live out my days wishing I was by your side. I'm a resilient bastard, so if you do get out, come find me. I hope to see you again.